and it was blown to be hell like it is here. Um, no, it doesn't really show the height of the waves. The camera never does. We're at about probably two and a half to three foot swells. Um, we anchored in this. attention the last time I did like a 360. There was a floating fish house over here. That's what I called it. It was like a like a, an ice house on pontoons. I'm gonna hang on tight here. Anyway the wind uh, kicked that bitch over. So unfortunately now it's just what we call a navigation hazard. Um, yeah, we've had uh, we're, we're bouncing pretty damn hard here. I don't know if you guys can. Do you guys see the dinghy? Watch the dinghy, man. I'll tell you how how big the waves are out here. They're just bebop bouncing, bebop bouncing around. It's good times, good times. I always double tie that thing up because I've, my friend Justin has had to go chasing his dinghy all over the world. There's Justin's boats right over there. Man, it is it's wild out here. After a totally boring, flat as a pancake ride 95% of the way, now we got Sporty weather. Sporty, sporty weather. The nice thing is that wind is cool. So, just wanted to kind of give you guys a little shot to where we were at. I didn't take any video when we were in Kea Costa because I was so darn busy. I made water twice, actually. I filled up the tanks when we first got there and then I refilled them up again right before we left because can't make water here because this is brackish water and it's dirty and it really makes the filters not happy. So um, we had made we made water we're full up right now we should be able to get by for a few weeks before we have to go back out to Kea Costa. There's our friends jamming over there on that boat. That's uh, Bonnie and Patrick. Uh, this wooden trawler up here ahead of us that and 
and uh, 